Assalamualaikum alaikum class. In today's lecture, we will learn how to calculate book value per share of a common stock. So, what is the book value of common stock? It refers to the net value of a company's assets that are attributable to its common shareholders. In our previous lecture, we have all uh, we have already uh, discussed about the stockholders. We have two type of stockholders: the common stockholders and the preferred stockholders. So we are exclusively talking about common stockholder book value is exclusively related with the common stockholders. Uh, it is essentially that the total equity that would remain if all liability were all liabilities were paid off and preferred stockholders were satisfied so what do you mean by preferred stockholders were satisfied this means that all their dividends were paid off either it is cumulative or non cumulative so it should be paid off so it represents the portion of the company's net assets that common shareholder would theoretically receive in case of liquidation. So the book value is often used to compare a stock's real worth, which is also known as intrinsic value, with the current market price. So let's begin with the Excel sheet. Uh, here it is. And we are covering uh, problems from financial and managerial accounting book written by William Zaka Bettner. And uh, this is chapter 11, stockholder equity. And here you have 11.6 in front of you. So let's begin. The company has a stockholder equity account as follows. The companies have common stock, then additional paid in capital, and then retained earnings. Uh, additional paid in capital means this is the premium on the par value on the common stock, and uh, this is the over and above amount, and it is exclusively related with the common stock. So you can see that in this problem, we just have common stock. We do not have any preferred stock. And what is required uh, to calculate the amount of book value per share. So now we are going to calculate book value per share. For this, we must have total stockholder equity. So total equal, stockholder equity, we can calculate it here. We have common stock, which, which is 1 million. We add any additional paid uh, in capital. Uh, so uh, additional paid in capital is $750,000. And then we have retained earnings, which is $600,000. So this is your total additional. Uh, this is your total stockholder equity. And as we do not have any uh, preferred stock in this case, so this is exclusively with uh, uh, common stock. This represents uh, stockholder equity attrib attributable to the common stockholder. Now we can calculate book value. Uh, in book value, we have total com uh, stockholder equity, which is uh, 235. Double zero and double zero divided by total number of common share, which is 100,000. Here it is given. So we are going to divide it 100,000. So this is $23.5. So this $23.5 represent book value per share. So we have calculated book value per share and it is one of the very simplest uh, example as we do not have any uh, preferred stock. So let's move toward, uh, towards next uh, exercise here. It is now in this case we have preferred stock also. So we have uh, you can see uh, preferred stock is there, then common stock is there, then additional paid in capital related to common stock is here, and retain earnings is here. And the dividend is $5 dividend per share. Uh, uh, preferred stock means uh, uh, per share dividend is $5. 
uh, what is required calculate the book value on common stock assuming that preferred dividends are cumulative this is important it is cumulative preferred dividend and are currently one year in area so you will have to calculate one year preferred uh, dividend on preferred stock and we will have to deduct it from the total common equity to get common stock or common equity which is attributable to the common stockholders only so here we are going to start first of all we will have to mention or calculate total stockholders equity what we do we simply add all of these amount that is uh, which is available to the pre preferred stockholder which is 4 million and then common stockholder which is 5 million and then we add additional paid in, paid in capital which is 800,000 and then we will add um, retain earnings which is uh, 1.750 million so this is your total common stockholder equity uh, total stockholder equity including preferred stockholder equity now what we are going to do we will deduct preferred stock which is 4 million so in the first step we will deduct preferred stock which is uh, 4 million and then we have uh, dividends on preferred stock so how we are going to calculate there are 40,000 shares multiplied by dividends per share which is five dollar so here so the total amount is 4.2 million so we are going to deduct it 4.2 million from the total equity so this is just a way of presentation uh, I have presented uh, the total of preferred stock in inner column and then uh, take it in the outer column to deduct this amount so then we have this amount and this is um, attributable you can say to the common stockholders so here this is this amount is attributable common holder this uh, we are going to use this amount to calculate book value so now next step is to calculate book value per share or per stock and what we are going to do we have uh, uh, a common equity that is attributable so three uh, seven point three five zero million divided by common shares. So the, how many uh, number of common shares are five hundred thousand. So we are going to divide it by five hundred thousand. So this is fourteen point seven. Uh, you can say the book value per share is fourteen point seven, and hence this is your answer. We exclude preferred stock as well as dividend on preferred stock from the total uh, stockholder equity. So, and then we divide, uh, remaining amount is divided by the number of common shares. So, this is the book value per share for common stockholders. So, the next uh, problem or next exercise is 11.4, uh, 11.8, this one. So, the following information is necessary to compute the net assets or the stockholder equity and book value per share of the common stock. So, 
So what we have right now, we have uh, cumulative 8% cumulative preferred stock. We have common stock. We have additional paid in capital. And there is a deficit. With deficit means negative amount in retained earnings. So retained earnings is negative now. And dividends in areas on the preferred stock is also given. So first of all, uh, what is required? It is required to calculate, uh, compute the net amount of assets or uh, stockholder equity. So in the part A, we are going to calculate total holders, stockholders equity. And first we will take uh, what is given 8% uh, cumulative preferred stock. So we have 8% cumulative preferred stock, which is an amount, um, you can see here, 200,000. Then we have uh, common stock. So we take common stock. So common stock is 300,000, so we take 300,000. Then we have additional paid in capital. So additional paid in capital is uh, additional paid in capital, which is 452.8,000 yen. Uh, this is 452 and 800. So this is, uh, you know, subtotal or you can say this is total paid in capital. So this is total paid in capital. We are adding it. So the sum is uh, 952,800. But we have a deficit which is the retained earning deficit. So we will deduct retained earnings deficit. So retained earning deficit is 146,800. So minus 146,800. So your total net asset or stockholder equity would be mm -hmm, so what happened now okay so in this way we are going to calculate it this way Okay, because uh, total paid in capital is already sum of all above three amounts. So here you can say this is your uh, total uh, stockholder equity, or you can say net asset. Assets or total. Equity. So this was your requirement one. In requirement two, compute the book value per share of the common stock. So we are going to calculate in B part book value per share. For this, we need um, amount attributable to the common stockholder. So for this, we start from the stockholder equity amount, total equity which we have calculated in part A, which is 806, so dollar 806,000. Then in the first step, we deduct um, preferred stock. So preferred stock is um, Amount of preferred stock is 200,000. So we will deduct is 200,000. And we will also deduct dividends on preferred stock. 
and dividend on preferred stock is already given, which is six. 15,000 and this dividend in area for one full year. So uh, we will deduct this amount that is 16,000. So uh, what would be our uh, equity which is attributable to the common stockholder? So this is $590,000. So this is your common equity or you can say equity attributable to the um, common stockholder now book value so how you are going to calculate book value we have 100,000 is the authorized share we do not uh, consider it but uh, just the uh, shares issued so divided by 60,000 so your book value would be nine point eight three dollars so this is your uh next requirement requirement number b nine point eight three per share this is per share in c requirement is the book value per share the amount common stock should expect to receive if the company were to seize operations and uh company go into liquidation so this is a no i don't think so because this is a theoretical value and the book value per share represent the stockholder shares of the net book value of the corporation's asset not the assets liquidation value because assets liquidation value may be different from the assets book value so the stockholders may receive more or maybe less than the book value per share if the company is going to be liquidated, uh, depending primarily on the amount at which the corporation's assets are sold. Because this uh, book value of the assets represents the value right now. So this book value may be different from the market value of the assets. So no, uh, this is not the uh, exact value or amount which company is going to receive in case of uh, liquidation. So that's it from uh, this lecture. Take care, class.